just a little bit this way. Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. 
All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. digital and personal. You can have both with Prime Bank. We know you've got a lot on your plate. Prime Bank can help. Use our app for everything from depositing checks to making transfers from the comfort of your own home. And if you want to open an account, you can do that online too. If you'd rather visit us in person to open an account, apply for a loan and more, we have several convenient locations. The best tech for you when you want to bank from a distance and the best people close by when you need us. Prime Bank, earn more your way.
Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. This pandemic has proven the need for great internet, and Evertech connects more rural customers in Northwest Iowa than anyone. Evertech wants to connect you too. Your internet keeps you connected to what matters to you. Family, entertainment, work, school, and more. Evertech's No Limits Internet is just what you need. It's reliable, has unlimited use, no contracts, and no overage charges. Use your internet and always know what you'll pay. Call or visit evertech.net to learn more. Evertech, internet where you live. Hello and welcome to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call alongside Brian Kolbeck as tonight the Jays take on the Wildcats of Woodbury Central. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be. We are here on Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net. The Jays come into the ball game tonight with a 17-5 record. Meanwhile, the Wildcats with a 5-16 and record in Brian, these two teams faced off once this year. It was senior night at Woodbury Central, and it was a big win for the Jays. Yeah, uh, we were mentioning before we went on the air here, Matt, that uh, they did graduate a ton of quality athletes last season, uh, only bringing uh, maybe one or two back this season, so a lot of rebuilding going on. Struggled early in the season, but did squeeze out a few wins here towards the end, so uh, looking to get their best shot here tonight. Made a little bit of a run in their conference tournament. Exactly. So... Always good to play well come tournament time. Jays leading scorer, of course, he has kind of been the all-everything for the Jays this senior is Keaton Bonderson averaging 21 and a half points a game. Yeah, Keaton is a dynamic athlete, once in a, in a decade kind of athlete that rolls through your school. Uh, a lot of other players out there kind of help feed his fire, though. You got Keaton Logan uh, dishing that ball out. Uh, you know, the other seniors, Ryan Augustine. Uh, guys like that that maybe don't get the stats that Keaton does, but all those little pieces help Keaton really fire on all cylinders. Meanwhile, for the Wildcats, Drew Clunder leads all scorers, averaging 10.4 points a game. 10.4 points a game, and you really got to be careful with his size. He's a sick, he's a large man at 6'3", only a junior, and they've got a uh, a sophomore right behind him, also at 6'3", and Keaton Gernhart. Yeah, last year Drew Clunder was a, a part of that squad that came up here and, and bumped us off there in our very early exit from the tournament run um, there too the, his supporting cast made him uh, a more of a dynamic player now without those seniors around him he kind of sticks out like a little more like a sore thumb where teams can focus on him kind of held him back in his stats this season it'll be interesting to see what kind of defense the Wildcats come out in it seemed like it seems like a little bit this year when teams have challenged the Jays with uh, a little bit of an extended press the Jays have struggled from time to time yeah and, and that, that's always something that even if um, from a girl standpoint uh, going back to what I'm more familiar with, it, it was a little shocking. You have these accomplished senior ball players struggle a little bit at times with the press. Um, I'm, I'm assuming Woodbury will probably drop back into a little bit of a 2-3 zone and make us shoot over it a little bit, kind of see if we get a cold shooting night, see if they can catch up uh, or sneak up on, on us that way. But uh, we're about a minute 20 from tip-off, and we'll find out here shortly. We will take a one-minute break. We will come back with starting lineups and the national anthem. You are watching Jays and Wildcats on Fuller Digital Solutions. Lloyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. It's easier than ever to find the live stream for your team now on fullerdigital.net. Home and away, if we're covering your team, your team's videos are on fullerdigital.net. Just click on your school and you'll find the game. Thank you for watching our events and remember, the games are on fullerdigital.net. Down there wearing blue, so I told him they had the wrong color on. So. <laughs> 
Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck. We will momentarily turn things over for starting lineups. Good evening. Welcome to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym here at Kalen Catholic for tonight's District 2 quarterfinal matchup. Let's extend a special welcome to our guests, the Wildcats from Woodbury Central. Kalen Catholic schools encourage positive sportsmanship and behavior at the game tonight. By practicing good sportsmanship, you will help make tonight's game one to remember. Let's give a hand for our officials as assigned by the Iowa Boys Athletic Union, Kyle Oswald. Ryan Brookers and Gary Trump. Now let's welcome the coaches. The Wildcats are coached by Josh Wilkerson, assisted by Terry Dallaslager and Michaela Archer. The Jays are coached by Mike Langle, assisted by Ryan Wilson, Eric Kellen, and Alec Langle. And now here are the starters for the Wildcats, a freshman, number three, Joe the Stifter. For the Jays, a senior, number four, Keaton Anderson. For the Wildcats, a senior, number 12, Will Distinctor. For the Jays, a senior, number 12, Keaton Logan. For the Wildcats, a junior, number 13, Drew Plumber. For the Jays, a senior, number 14, Drake Barusher. For the Wildcats, a senior, number 22, Jack Meister. For the Jays, a senior, number 40, Connor Pratt. For the Wildcats, a junior, number 23, Brady Sharon. And for the Jays, a senior, number 42, Ryan Augustine. Tonight's national anthem is sung by Aspen Mosier, who has recently been selected by the Iowa High School Athletic Association to sing the national anthem at the State 1A Wrestling Tournament event this Wednesday in the morning. So please stand and remove your hats while Aspen sings our national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the rain. So gallantly streaming, and the rockets are glad, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Who saved us? That star spangled. You go home, you'll feel good about what you did, and you know, you're doing it for the kids. If they don't have us, they don't have these games.
Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck as we get ready for the opening tip. In the center circle is Augustine and Clunder. Opening tip controlled by the Jays. Bondersing quickly with the ball. Jump shot, free throw line, off the front iron and side iron, no good. Rebound by Joe DeStigger. Sorry, DeStichter. I'll try to uh, differentiate those boys by their first names. Meister with it now, near the circle. Plunder, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Bonderson. Bonderson quickly up the floor. Just a half minute left. Drake was dangerously close to the sideline there. Augustine passed out of the paint to Drake. Dribbled down the baseline, threw that away. I believe that's going to be an over and back. Yeah, they settling back in that 2-3 zone like we thought. Kind of a matchup being aggressive on the wings. Uh, nice dribble drive there. Had the right idea, dished down the lane, just weren't quite on the same page on that one. We'll be keeping an eye on both the St. Mary's ball game and the George Little Rock versus MMCRU ball game. Both of those are on Fuller Digital Solutions. Will with it now, passes right to Joe. Joe drives, now kicks to the corner, three-point attempt. Meister, no good off the side of the backboard. Bonderson passes left to Augustine. Augustine, reverse layup, no good. Rebound by Clunder. That was the one there maybe Ryan could have came set and then just put it in. Thought he had a good angle on it, left a little bit short, came off. Ball being swung around nicely by the Wildcats. 0-0 score, still after one minute. Swiped at by Dero- or by. Drake DeRocher, and we're going to have a jump ball. A little little jitters here, maybe. Uh, Galen out trying to push a little bit. Woodbury Central trying to get Felis out a little bit. Uh, that first bucket sometimes is the hardest one to come by, and then they come in bunches generally. Ball inbounded to Will. Now pass in the corner is Meister. Meister dribbles out. Clunder, top of the key. That's going to be a long two. In and out, no good. Rebound by DeRocher. DeRocher quickly ahead. Logan back to DeRocher. Top of the key. Shot fake over to to Logan, that one's in and out, no good. Just wouldn't fall for him. Halfway down, uh, sick on a couple of games last week. We missed the West two games, so see if he's got legs here tonight. Clunder in the corner, down low is Will. Bounce pass across to to Sheeran, and he gets the first points of the ball game. Nice entry pass there, head up, finding him, cutting to the hoop. Bonderson kicks to Logan. Logan dribbles back near the top of the key. Jays are seeing a little zone here. Bonderson settles for a jump shot and knocks it down. Yeah, that mid-range is Keaton's uh, specialty. He elevates off the ground so fast. Uh, tough to defend that when he when he's uh, when he's hitting it. Jays showing a little extended press here. Their own Logan DeRocher. DeRocher puts up the shot. Count the basket and the foul. Yeah, they, like you said, a little just a little token uh, press there. Got him a little flustered through a pass that uh, that the, <laughs> his teammate wasn't ready for. Easy bu- easy steal, easy bucket. Foul's going to be on Jack Meister. It's going to be his first. It's going to be the team's first. As DeRocher will go to the line, try to make it the traditional three-point play. Puts up the shot, knocks it down. Clunder looking to get the ball inbounded. Does. Back to Clunder. Clunder stops just right of the paint, kicks it out. Further in the corner is Joe to stay, to sticker. The Stichter, I will get that by the end of the game. Clunder with it now. Not sure who he was going for there, but Will comes up with it. Meister over to Clunder. Clunder, long two from the side, no good. Rebound Bonderson. Quickly ahead to DeRocher. DeRocher puts up the layup, count the basket again, and the foul. Yeah, there we go, just taking it to the hoop strong. Uh, maybe a little bit younger lineup for the uh, Wildcats not getting back. Easy two, going to the free throw line again. Rocher with five of the Jays' seven points here. That is one thing about this Jays' offense. It's it's so dynamic. It, it comes in bunches. If you peek away from the scoreboard for a little bit, all of a sudden, like you said, they, they put up ten points in a matter of a short amount of time. So, And that one's good. Plunder will bring it up. Guarded by Logan. Gets it up over the timeline. Passes left to Tashirin. Tashirin drives to the basket. Blocked by Augustine. Put back. Was good by Gernat. Gernhart. 
Logan now, Bonderson shot fake. Logan dribbles toward the baseline. Augustine did not reestablish himself as he was coming back in from out of bounds. Yeah, good good call by uh, Brian Borchers there. Saw that he had taken a full stride or two out of bounds. Did not get both feet back in before he grabbed the basketball. Turnover for the Jays. Clunder inbounds to Joe. Joe to Stichter. Over to Clunder. Clunder brings it up over the timeline with the left hand. Now dribbles with the right. Back in Logan down. Spinning. Puts up a right hand jumper. Good. Drew Clunder with his first two po points of the ball game. It's 8-6. to six. Kraft. Left side of the lane. That was a floater that came down. There's another one of those athletes Galen has that can just has explosive vertical off the floor. Uh, gets in deep into your defense like that. Elevates and scores. Just about halfway through this first period, you're watching Full Digital Solutions and FullDigital.net as Bonderson picks off that pass, going coast to coast. Two single slam home. And we've got a timeout from Woodbury Central. See what kind of timeout it's going to be. It's going to be a 30 second timeout back in 30. You're watching Full. Try it. I think you really like it. I, I tried it, and so here I am 17 years later. I, I love it. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck, and we take a look at that last interception and one-hand slam. Nice job. And that, the Wildcats able to get the ball up over the timeline. It's 12-6 here in the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Drive by Reblitz. Kicked out to Coulter. Gernhart near the top of the key. Left to Clunder. 18 left on the shot clock. Clunder left to Gernhart. Gernhart toward the paint. Spins. Puts up a right hand. Blocked by Wilchin. Shot no good from Plunder. And Wilchin comes in, comes up with a rebound. Logan ahead. Now in the left corner. Kraft back out to Logan. Cross to Bonderson. Wilchin at the free throw line over to, to DeRocher. Try to get it out to Bonderson, top of the key. Kraft takes that shot off the front and back iron. No good. Rebound by Plunder. Plunder down low. Now kicked out right corner in to Will. And that one's picked off by Kraft. Kraft brings it up over the timeline, drives into the paint, puts up a right hand shot, back iron no good. A little forcing on that one. Gernhart comes up with a rebound. Quickly ahead to Clunder. Clunder near that left corner. Count starts getting on him. He drives baseline, puts up a right hand, rattles around and down for Clunder. Nice baseline drive by Clunder, bringing it back to that right hand. Soft touch there, shooting it over the defender. Good play by Clunder there. Ball being swung around. Bonderson shot fake. Backed up now. In the paint. Kicked out to Logan. Logan bounce pass over to Kraft. Kraft long two. No good. Rebound. Bonderson puts up a left-handed layup and a good. Nice cut. Nice find by Gabe there. Got that rebound squared up. Looked out. Saw uh, Bonderson cutting. Nice little dish there for two. Reblitz now to Clunder over to Coulter with 15 on the shot clock. Will bounce pass down low, being fought for on the baseline. And the Jays come up with it. Bonderson quickly ahead. DeRocher, no, that ball's intercepted. We're going to have a travel down on this end of the floor. Yeah, that was a little bit forced there by Keaton. The defenders had all gotten back. Keaton trying to thread the needle there to, to Logan. Uh, got away with one there as the Wildcat came down with it. Took a couple extra steps, turnover, ball goes back to the Jays. Appreciate our sponsors for bringing you Jays and Wildcats tonight. Floyd Valley Healthcare, five-star communication, 101.5 FM, ESPN Radio, as Logan puts up a floater. Keaton Logan with his first two points of the ball game. Prime Bank, Sitzman Construction, Colbeck Incorporated, Thermal Bond, Evertech, and Schuster Trucking. Zane, Wonder, go ahead. Zane Whelan into the game for the Jays here. 
Plunder shot no good. Augustine comes up with the rebound. Bonderson pushes right. Now back to Bonderson. Top of the key. Three. Off the front iron. No good. I think it's a prize plunder how quickly it came down. Meister kicks it down low. It's going to be off the hand and out of bounds. With 32 and a half seconds left to go in the George Little Rock game, George Little Rock leads 10-9 over MMCRU. That is a that is the next round opponent for whoever wins this game. Over in Remsen, St. Mary's is winning 16 to 3. That one still in the first. Brady to Sharon back in for Keaton Gerhard for the Wildcats here. Logan brings the ball up for the Jays. Now to Wheeland. Wheeland bounce past Augustine in the near corner. Augustine back out to Wheeland. Augustine shot fake three. Takes a mid-range jumper. Floated it. Hit nothing. Picked up by Meister. Meister behind the back dribble. Passes over the timeline. Plunder loses it, Whelan diving, and I believe Wilching committed the foul. A nice job by the Jays, they're using that 2-3, uh, finding the weak spots in that 2-3, not really knocking down those mid-range jumpers right now. In the last one, Augustine left that one a little short. Good man-to-man -man defense on that end, like you said, uh, Wilching ended up on uh, on uh, Meister there on a switch, ended up following him on a little mid-range jumper there, put him to the line for two. Meister picks up his first points of the ball game. It's 16-9 with 38.7 seconds left to go. Knocks down the second, does Meister. Augustine inbounds it to Bonderson. Bonderson over the timeline. Between the legs dribble, poked at. Jay's able to retain possession. About a three second shot clock to game clock differential. Wilchin in the far corner. Logan stops, free throw line jumper, and good. Yep, like I said, another example of penetrating into those gaps on that two, three zone with those mid-range jumpers. Don't need to settle for the three every time. Keep attacking that thing and, and hit those little soft spots like that. We'll be in good shape. Ten seconds left. Jumper from Meister, no good. And it's going to be the Jays' ball with six and a half left to go in this first quarter. 18-10 is the Jays' lead. Meister was calling for a touch there in that three-pointer that was a little bit short. I, I don't tend to disagree with him on that. Looks like we got a piece of it, but the officials didn't see it. Logan, jumper with two on the shot clock. Back iron, no good. Nobody will get a shot off as the Jays lead 18-10 at the end of the first quarter. You're watching Jays and Wildcats on Fuller Digital Solutions. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym, Lamar's Iowa, Galen Catholic. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Kolbeck on Full of Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. And an eight-point lead for the Jays as we get ready to start quarter number two, Brian. Uh, yeah, they're, like I said, attacking that 2-3 zone, finding the soft spots. Looks like they fell back into a matchup here yet. Matchup 2-3. Um, guys, just got to be patient. Don't settle for those threes. Keep attacking that middle. Dishing it out and finding those good looks. Bonderson shot fake. Pulls up jumper. Free throw line. No good. Rebound Wilchin. Wilchin left side of the lane. No good. Bonderson with that. Rebound up and in for Bonnerson. Yeah, there too. Back to that with that ability to get up off the floor. That's the thing that uh, makes Keaton so dynamic. The Bonnerson tried to swipe that one away from Clunder, but Kraft committed the foul. Kraft with his first, team second. Clunder will be the inbounder. Inbounds to Will Destictor. De Plunder left to Joe. Joe dribbles toward the free throw line. Will jump uh, three-pointer from Meister's good. Meister now with five. Yeah, uh, real good look there. I mean, he came off that screen, no hesitation, just popped that thing. Nothing but the bottom of the net for him. Kraft comes back, 
His shot rattles around, no good. Rebound Augustine. Bonderson, I think, could have pulled the trigger on that jumper. Meanwhile, Kraft kicks out to Logan. Logan drives the baseline over to Augustine. Augustine hands off. Bonderson, jumper, good. Nice look back by uh, Augustine. Kept that defender occupied. Kicked it back to Keaton for that little jumper again. Jays, again, showing pressure deep. Meister for three. Committed the foul, did Logan. Kind of a silly foul. He just kind of fell right into the right into Meister. It is, yeah, it's uh, when they close out, you know, you always kind of teach the kids to kind of close out, keep that hand, don't let your momentum carry into the shooter, especially on the higher levels. You know, Division One college, they really perfected the art of kind of uh, uh, not necessarily flopping, but making the official uh, believe that they were fouled. In this case, I think Keaton did uh, kind of plow into him there a little bit. They're going to say it wasn't a shooting foul. Will receives the inbound to his brother Joe in the lane. Over to Clunder. Three. No good. Rebound by Joe. And we're going to have a foul, I believe, on Bonderson. Yeah, that was one of those examples. Uh, number three, Joe DeStichter got down in their lane. Both Countercraft or Keaton didn't check him. Uh, ball came right to him. Ended up following him. Appreciate you watching tonight on Flow Digital Solutions and FlowDigital.net. Whenever your home team plays, whether they're home or away, it will be on fullerdigital.net. Connor Kraft picks up his second foul. Yeah, another quick one there. They, they both kind of went out to put pressure on the ball, and I think it was kind of a you got him, you got him, I got him kind of thing, and then Connor ended up following him when he's heading back towards the hoop. It's a 15 foul for the Jays as the Wildcats inbound to Clunder. And Clunder tried to pick one up on Wilchin there real quick as he backs up, now passes right to Will, the stickter. Clunder, that one's going to be off the mark, no good. Rebound by... Craft. Left to Logan, further left to Bonderson. Kicks back to Logan, back to Bonderson, and they're just playing a little catch. Logan, three, swish. Good patience there. Uh, previous games uh, last week and the week before, we were maybe a little bit too quick to take that first look. A nice little back and forth game there between Keaton and Keaton. Uh, found that a uh, little bit higher percentage three. Meister from way downtown, no good. Rebound by Wilchin. Ahead to Logan. Logan on the far side. Now driving in the paint was Kraft, and I believe Meister picked up that foul. Yeah, an unfortunate recipient of having to be in the wrong place at the wrong time there, I guess. He was kind of coming up to square up on Keaton in that 2-3 matchup zone. Ended up getting a whole lot of <laughs> counter coming down the lane. So Augustine's going to go to the bench. We're going to see Kellen in, and DeRo or, um, uh, DeRocher came in for Logan. DeRocher will be the inbounder, gets it into Kraft. Kraft stops. Trying to direct traffic. Wilchin, Kellen, that shot is partially blocked and fouled. Nice high-low, uh, baby high-low action there from Gabe to, to Carter. Gabe caught that thing right above the 10-foot line of the volleyball. Carter did what he does best, just start heading towards the hoop, and Gabe dropped one off to him. Would have been nice to see him go up a little bit stronger to put that thing away, but goes to the line for two. Kellen's at the line to shoot two. Knocks down the first. Gets ready to put up the second. Puts it up off the back iron, no good. Rebound by the Wildcats. Clunder puts that one up and knocks it down. Tough matchup there for Carter Kellen. He's gonna have to guard that Clunder kid. The Clunder kid maybe has a little bit of foot speed on him, so he's really going to have to bear down if that's going to continue to be the matchup the Jays choose. And Kellen does have the size. It's just a little bit of the motor a little bit, I think. Yep, fleet of foot there. Rebound. Kellen off of Clunder's able to get the rebound. Nice, nice save. Nice balance by Clunder. He couldn't have had more than an inch between his toe and the out-of-bounds line and found his teammate there. Clunder kicks right. The stickter off the front iron. No good. Rebound by Bonderson. Bonderson will slowly bring it ahead for the Jays. Now pushes it up to Kraft over the timeline. Back to Bonderson between the circles. Kick left. DeRocher, three, no good. Rebound from Augustine. Augustine spinning, puts it up. Off the iron, no good. Kraft with a rebound, puts that shot up, no good. Rebound by Tasharin. Yeah, a little bit of fading there by the Jays. They're not going up and taking up strong. They elect to fade back and fade away. I think against this team here, with, especially with Clunder not being in the middle, you, we can just take it right back up to them and put it in the hoop. We'll be back in 60 seconds on Fuller Digital. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. 
Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota. And for over 30 years, we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Digital and personal. You can have both with Prime Bank. We know you've got a lot on your plate. Prime Bank can help. Use our app for everything from depositing checks to making transfers from the comfort of your own home. And if you want to open an account, you can do that online too. If you'd rather visit us in person to open an account, apply for a loan and more, we have several convenient locations. The best tech for you when you want to bank from a distance and the best people close by when you need us. Prime Bank. Earn more your way. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym, Galen Catholic High School. Jays lead this one 25 to 15. As we look over and see M George Little Rock is up by 10, 21 to 11 with 312 left to go in that ball game. That ball picked off by Bonderson. Bonderson quickly ahead and he is fouled by Tasharin. Not necessarily intentional, I don't think, but that wasn't a bad foul. You know, you, you, you got a few to give yet. Don't give up the easy layup to Keaton Bonderson. Get him, keep him going here this game. So not a bad foul. Looking on the other side of the bracket, St. Mary is up by 18 right now, 28 to 10. Who are they got tonight? Matt? Who do they have? It is Siouxland Christian. Wilchin in the corner. Passes out to Bonderson. Bonderson right. Further right is Logan. Logan back to Bonderson between the circles. Again, seeing the zone. DeRocher over to Bonderson. Bonderson just outside of the arc. 412 left to go here in this quarter. Bonderson spinning in the lane. Fade away. Got it. Yeah, good ball rotation, good ball movement. Ended up collapsing that 2-3 zone all the way down. Uh, just like I said, the Jays are doing a very nice job of being patient here tonight. And Tashirin picks up the foul on the other end. Brady Tashirin picks up the foul on, on uh, Carter Kellen. That's his first. It's the team's sixth. It'll be a baseline inbound. Destictor, and they're going to say it's a jump ball, and it remained Woodbury Central. Galen sticking with. Usual man to man. Uh, right now, it looks like they're maybe going to fall into a little bit of a 2 3 out of bounds here. Ball inbounded. Now over to Destictor, Joe. Further in the corner is Gernhardt. And Reb, uh, Reblitz walked with the basketball. 3.44 left to go here in the second. Ball inbounded to Logan. Now Bonderson kicked low to Kellen. Kellen puts up a shot. And they're going to say offensive foul. Yeah, there's another example right there. Carter, Carter turned around and took it into Clunder. Again, maybe anticipating a little more resistance there. Left it short out of the rim. I think if these boys just keep their eyes open, go up a little stronger, they're going to get a lot of those to fall. I understand that the voice and the video is off. I will try to keep working on that. If those of you who are watching can help me out with that, I will continue to try to play with the audio and video, trying to get that back together. Will Destictor over to Gernhardt. Gernhardt back to Joe. Joe dribbles, puts up a shot off the iron. No good. It's going to be out of bounds. It will be Jay's basketball. Logan brings it up to DeRocher. Back to Logan. Wilchin. That was going to be off of Bonderson's foot to Logan. Down low, shot, no good. And that one is thrown away. Carter Kellen is getting a tremendous amount of looks from that left side of the hoop and just not able to buy one right now. Logan brings it up over the timeline. Passes right. Logan still at the top of the key. Over to Wilchin. Wilchin over Bonderson, puts up the shot and knocks it down. 
to Stichter. Joe will bring it up over the timeline. Two and a half left to go in this quarter. Over to Will to Stichter. Down low, Wilchin over to Bonderson. Bonderson ahead, bounce pass to Rocher, puts up the shot and the foul by Clunder. Yeah, too much, uh, too much action for the Jays down there around Drew Clunder, who's going to have to get, get a foul here eventually, unfortunately. Nice looks from high low and, and bounce passes going in there, uh, keeping him busy trying to contest shots. Finally got him to foul. Puts up the first, does DeRocher, and he knocks that one down, does Drake DeRocher. Ryan Augustine back in for Carter Kellen there, getting a little razzing from the bench there as he sits down. Puts up the second one and knocks it down. Hey, at halftime, we will turn the stream off. I'm going to try to reboot the computer here on site, so if the stream starts spinning, we will go to a commercial. We will come back. Just give me a couple minutes here on site as we try to rebout, reboot at halftime. That shot is no good. Fought for on the floor. A couple of players still on the floor, and Logan comes away with it. Logan over to Augustine. Augustine backs up over to Logan, and Logan walked with the basketball before he launched that three. Yeah, getting his feet adjusted there in the corner. He kind of caught the ball facing Augustine, tried to back pivot and reverse around and ended up taking some extra steps. Will DeStichter brings it up over the timeline. In the right corner is Gernhart. That shot is blocked by Logan as Clunder tried to muscle his way through. Errant shot. Clunder puts up another shot. No good. Ahead to Bonderson. Bonderson down low. Puts up the layup and in does Keaton Bonderson. Bonderson now with 12. Three point attempt, in and out, no good. Rebound by Logan. Logan with just under a minute left, kick left. Augustine puts up the right hand, no good. Rebound by Gernhart. Gernhart kicks ahead to DeStichter. DeStichter, left side of the paint, almost walked with the basketball as he kind of stumbled that pivot foot. Clunder spinning, puts up a jumper, no good. Rebound by Logan. Logan ahead to Bonderson. A little too hot for Augustine. That ball's fumbled around. Shot clock's now off as Bonderson picks up the basketball. Again, like I was saying, if you're tuned in now for this basketball game, please stay tuned as the stream will go off for about two or three minutes. It will be circling. We will come back with the second half. Uh, we're having some technical issues in-house. Wilchin with it now. Augustine with seven on the shot on the play clock, on the game clock. Ahead, Will DeStichter puts up a three from half court. No good. And that's the way the first half is going to end here. Brian, any thoughts before we hit uh, hit the reboot here? It's always hard to uh, go into halftime being up uh, about 20 points, but I think Mike's going to go in and give them a message that uh, the Jays were not the sharpest there, especially in that second quarter. A lot of missed opportunities, bunnies, jump shots, uh, uh, turnovers. Uh, I think Mike's going to go in and let them know that you know if they're going to try to, to, to put the best foot forward here and continue down this tournament trail, they're really going to have to clean it up in the second half. 18 Start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. 
Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Digital and personal. You can have both with Prime Bank. We know you've got a lot on your plate. Prime Bank can help. Use our app for everything from depositing checks to making transfers from the comfort of your own home. And if you want to open an account, you can do that online too. If you'd rather visit us in person to open an account, apply for a loan and more, we have several convenient locations. The best tech for you when you want to bank from a distance and the best people close by when you need us. Prime Bank. Earn more your way. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. 24-11. George Little Rock. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Colbeck, and we apologize for the technical difficulties we were having in-house. We did lose our baseline camera when we had to reboot that, so we apologize for that. It's a 33-15 game here at the half in the, uh, the Jays in uh, favor of the Jays. It is 31-12 at St. Mary, and it's halftime at the St. Mary Siouxland Christian game. I'm waiting for the uh, George Little Rock and MMCRU game to come back. I believe that was an eight or nine point ball game at the half there in favor of George Little Rock. Meanwhile, in this ball game, scoring in the first half looked like this: Clunder with six, Meister with five, to Sharon with two, and Gernhart with two. That's for the Wildcats. For the Jays, Keaton Bonderson has 12. Keaton Logan has 7. Drake DeRocher has 8. Carter Kellen has 1. And Connor Kraft has 2. Brian, it was an impressive uh, outing to start for the Jays. Yeah, it, um, like I said before we, we took the break, though, I, I think that's going to be the thing that I, as a, just a spectator, was, was watching is the, the fact that in order to uh, play your best basketball this time of year, in order to continue down that, that really tough tournament trail the boys have in front of them, it's got to be cleaner. Um, you got to take advantage of what the what the opponent will give you. Um, and I just don't think, even though we put 33 up in the first half, I, I don't think Mike's going to be Coach Lang is going to be completely happy with uh, how clean it was, especially in about the last four minutes of that second quarter. So many missed opportunities. Uh, the, the the boys could probably have you know 40, 45, 50 points on the board right now if they make those bunnies. It uh, it's a 24 to 11 um, game in George right now with George with the lead. That is the next round game. If the Jays win the ball game, they will take on the winner of the George Little Rock MMCRU game. That game will be here on Thursday night on Fuller Digital Solutions. Also on Fuller Digital Solutions um, tomorrow night, Remsen St. Mary's and girls action will take on George Little Rock, uh, a team that took down the Jays last week on Tuesday night, or on Thursday night rather. And so that will be a Valentine's matchup at Remsen St. Mary. You can yeah, well, catch all the action on Fuller Digital Solutions. Yeah, way to hit me where it hurts, Matt, because I, I, I definitely don't want to be up here with you tonight. I'd rather be uh, uh, scheming for uh, St. Mary's over there, a very, very tough and talented ball club, um, not unlike their boys' team. Um, we were just talking during the break. Uh, uh, the audience wasn't uh, 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 part of that conversation. But, uh, again, a George Little Rock team coming down. Don't let the record fool you. I think you said that they have a 10-10 and record. Uh, playing in that tough Siouxland Conference. So uh, hopefully the boys are, are, are ready if they can continue to hold uh, the Wildcats off in this game and, and be ready for a, a really, really good ball game on Thursday night. It'll be interesting to see that that uh, the matchup, no matter who it is. Uh, MMCRU, I believe, is 6-14 and 14 on the season. But don't let the, like you said, don't let the record fool you. The, the Siouxland Conference is a very tough conference, and it's filled with 2-3 and three opponents. I think uh, when, I, when the girls played here, the other night that uh, MMC or that uh, George Little Rock had only played one 1A school all season long. So 
they, they aren't a team to uh, to kind of sleep on, especially as they make the jump uh, to the Warrior Conference next season. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, in visiting with their head coach uh, uh, after our game the other night, you know, pretty pumped that they made that move, a more competitive move for them as Unity leaves the War Eagle. Uh, they just kind of come in and, and, and take Unity's place, so a really good fit, a uh, more competitive fit. Um, and and uh, like I said, looking forward to uh, starting some new rivalries with those people from up north. We will take a 30-second timeout to hear from the IHSAA. You're watching Jays and Wildcats on Fuller Digital. There's two things we can control every morning when we wake up. All right, there's two things. Don't take any athletic ability. It's attitude and effort. Let's get started here. Let's go. Let's have a day. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call. Hopefully we don't continue to have some of the issues that we've been having. I did see a little bit of the jitters that you guys were seeing, and hopefully we can hold off and get this ball game done without too much more audio lag as we get ready to start the second half of the ball game. I think the boys did a very good job uh, of being patient, not uh, uh, just uh, resorting to three-pointers, uh, finding those seams, finding those open soft spots, getting that ball in, finding those higher percentage shots. Um, but like I said, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but uh, any coach would probably say, you know, fellas, we got to clean this thing up. We got to play our best basketball this time of year. And, and we'll see how they come out here in the second half and see if they don't focus on cleaning those little things up. I will say that none of this could be done without our local sponsors. And we appreciate all of them for helping to bring you Jays basketball all season long. Of course, Floyd Valley Healthcare, ESPN Radio, 101.5 FM and Five Star Communications, Prime Bank, of course, Colbeck Incorporated. Sitzman Construction, Schuster Trucking, Thermobond, and Evertech. Without those sponsors, the Jays and the Wildcats would not be brought to you here tonight. As the second half gets underway, Logan kicks over to DeRocher, to Kraft. Kraft pulls up long. I thought that was a long two. It was a three. Clunder comes up with the rebound. Quickly ahead is Meister. Meister spinning into the lane. Puts up a layup. Does to Sheeran. And Tashiran now has four points. Nice dribble drive there. Drew the defender to him. Dish underneath the hoop. Uh, a nice look there from Woodbury coming out of the half. Logan between the circles. Kicks right to Bonnerson. Bonnerson back to Logan. Back to Bonnerson. Bonnerson drives in the paint. Jump. Puts up a layup. No good. Rebound by Tashiran. Quickly ahead. Meister. Meister drives toward the baseline. Kicks it back out to Joe DeStichter. Joe. Guarded by Bonnerson, hands it off to Clunder. Now to Meister. Meister, the Stichter, top of the key. Now Joe drives in the paint, and I think Bonnerson picked up the foul there. Yeah, good de good defense all the way. Got him cut off. He went to go reverse back to his left hand, and I think uh, Keaton got a little bit of his arm as he went back that way. Looking to inbound quickly. Three. Joe to Stichter. Knocked it down nicely to Joe DeSichter. Bonderson kicks it left. Logan now to Rocher. Logan to Rocher. Augustine on the baseline. Kicks it out to the Rocher. Logan kicks it right to Bonderson. Bonderson drives. Puts it up in the paint. Lay up and in. There's that soft spot again. Uh, just drew those two defenders to him. Dribbled through. Kept possession of that basketball. Easy layup to Keaton. Meister with it now. Kicked it left to Will. Will down low to Clunder. Clunder spinning. Puts up a shot off the iron. No good. Logan ahead to Augustine. Augustine looking for it in the lane. Left side of the lane. Layup with the left hand. Good look. Good dish. Again, that senior senior to senior combo. Um, just, a, just an overall good play by the Jays there. Not many times you won't say that for the Jays. They have 10 seniors on the, on the uh, ball club here. To Sheeran. Kicks it to the near side. Will. Clunder. In the paint, spinning, puts up a right hand, rattles around and down for Clunder. Looks like they're going to go with Keaton Logan on Clunder here a little bit. Clunder with a little bit of an advantage. Another nice pass by Keaton Logan down to Ryan Augustine. 
almost an alley-oop. I think Augustine's a little hesitant to get that far up. As that one's almost stolen away by Bonnerson. Joe puts it up. And Logan picks up the blocking foul. I don't think he quite had his feet set. And I think he kind of had a shoe come off too. Yeah, Mike with a couple subs at the bench there. I don't know if he's particularly really happy with the man-to-man -man right now. Uh, our boys are allowing him to kind of get deep into that lane, getting the fouls, getting the easy buckets, uh, maybe bringing a couple fresh faces here and see if we can't, uh, can't clamp that down a little bit. The Stichter puts up the first and knocks it down. Hello to my family watching at home. Appreciate everybody in the Woodbury Central footprint watching at home also. Second one's off the front iron, no good. Gets his own rebound. Kind of fumbled the shot there as Logan comes ahead with the basketball. 5.19 left to go here in the third quarter. Near corner, Bonderson long two, knocks it down. Keaton Bonderson now with 16 points. The Jays extend the lead to 18. Clunder, Will to Joe. Joe, free throw line, hands it off to Meister. Meister, that one swiped away by Whelan and picked up by Kraft. Kraft ahead to Bonderson. Whelan puts up the shot in and out, no good. Kraft is fouled on the shot. I think to our, as far as our unofficial stats, I think the uh, scorer's table over there has Keaton up to 20 now. It's possible that I missed some points there when I was uh, checking to see what was going on with everything. <laughs> Kraft puts up the free throw and knocks it down. Me and the scorer's table both have them with three. It's 23 to th 26 to 13, George Little Rock right now. Kicked ahead to Meister. Meister spinning. Nice spin move. But it was thrown away, picked off by Clunder, and Clunder gets that easy bunny. We uh, stole that ball, and all four of his teammates took off, and Clunder ended up with the basketball unguarded going to the hoop there. So. Bonnerson shot fake over to Kraft. Down low, Wilchin puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebound by Meister. Clunder. Pass across and a little too hot to handle for Destictor. You know, as you watch the Wildcats, uh, some of, sometimes their youth and inexperience shows up a little bit. Little jitters, little little uh, hot hands, you know, can't quite get, get the handle on the, on the ball. But, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you have to start such a young lineup at, sometimes. Wilchin lost the handle, partially blocked by Clunder, and Logan commits the offensive foul trying to get away from Meister. Yeah, unfortunately, I think uh, Keaton about uh, eight feet away from that official uh, didn't, uh, didn't uh, cover that up nearly as well, drove that shoulder into the Wildcat, into the defender, and, uh, and bought himself one there. Looks like it's pajama night for the student section, just by the amount of flannel pants and flannel shorts that I've seen walking around here tonight. Landon Ryder with his first appearance here tonight for uh, for Kilo. Kilo's going to sit down for a little bit. Bounce pass down low. We're going to have a foul before any kind of shot, and it's going to be on Bonnerson. Bonnerson picks up his third. It's a 42-25 lead for the Jays. And if you're a Wildcats fan, there is still there's a lot of promise to be seen out of this game here tonight as Will DeStichter puts up a three, rattles around, no good. Rebound by Wilchin. Kraft ahead, puts up the layup, up and in. Nice move by Connor Kraft. Got, uh, got Clunder on his hip, took it at the other guy, took it strong to the rim. Meister spinning in the lane, spins again, out to Clunder. That ball's poked away. It's going to remain Wildcat basketball. Again, this team does not have a scene. It has one senior on it. I'm sorry. Two seniors, Meister and Destictor, do the Wildcats. Clunder will be back again next year. Meister in the far corner, chucks a three, no good, rebound by Wilchin. Wilchin ahead to Kraft. Kraft stops at the free throw line, gets it down to Bonderson, spins on the baseline, out to Kraft. Kraft drives, puts up a shot, left side of the paint, no good, rebound from Clunder. 308 left to go. You're watching Full Digital Solutions and FullDigital.net as that layup is no good. Rebound by the Wildcats, and I believe Wilchin's going to come up with a foul. 
Jays ended up with about four blocks in the first half unofficially. That one there actually looked fairly clean from my angle. Must have got him across the arm a little bit as he was leaning back in towards that hoop. It's a unique thing about basketball. It's a 360 degree game and we don't get, we get about, about 180 degrees of it. Yeah. That shot off the back iron, no good. Again, Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. When your team is on a Fuller Digital channel, you can find your team on FullerDigital.net. Looks like Connor Kraft might have a little blood or something on his leg. Heading back to the training, training table. Uh, Ryan Augustine uh, came in to take his place. Second one is up and in for Gernhardt. Gernhardt with three. Ryder over to Augustine. Augustine's been known to kick up those corner threes every once in a while. Bonderson in the lane, spinning, puts up a jumper, knocks it down. Nice shooter's touch there. Got it up on the on the plateau of the rim there. Got her to fall. 39-19 is George over George Little Rock over MMCRU right now as Clunder knocks down that corner three. St. Mary's is up 52-24 over Siouxland Christian. Bonnerson puts up a jumper off the glass and good. Keaton Bonnerson with 24 and it's a 19 point lead for the Jays. The Stichter backs up, now in the corner. Dribbled out, did Reblitz. Kicked over to Coulter. Clunder, three, <laughs> knocks it down again. And Drew Clunder. He, he's big, and he can kind of shoot from anywhere, and that makes him real dangerous. Yeah, someone's going to have to definitely step up on him and, and shut that down. He's getting a little hot here. Wheel in, off the back iron, no good. Augustine kicks it out. Landon Ryder, shot fake. Bonnerson with it near the top of the key now. Of course, the shot clock reset as he put up that jumper, no good. Rebound. Augustine was on the baseline. Of course, we want to say hello to Linda Coulter, who is down in Texas with one of her daughters right now. They are... Uh, seeking some medical treatment down there. So we send our best wishes down to the Coulter family uh, who is watching down in Texas tonight. Gernhardt backs down Augustine, gets it down low, and I believe that Wheeland is going to pick up that foul. Yeah, uh, Reblitz uh, saw a match up there with uh, the Ooh. shorter... Uh, he did the, not pick up that foul. Uh, ended up three seconds in the lane, actually. Ah. Uh, ended up with a, trying to find an advantage there on Wheeland down low. Uh, just ended up camping out a little too long trying to get position. Wheeland wide open three. Back iron, no good. Rebound by Reblitz. Reblitz gets it to Clunder. Ahead to Gernhart. Gernhart drives toward the basket. Puts up a shot. No good. Rebound by Augustine. A little bit of contact there. Both crowds kind of groaning. As Bonnerson lays that one up and in. I think that was a good play on. I... You know, he initiated contact. Ryan was moving a little bit, but the offensive player initiated the contact. I don't think that was a bad play on at all. Backing down is Reblitz and Wheeland. Now with the foul? Now with the foul. Yeah, okay. they went back to that same matchup they, they about got last time. Uh, Wheeland on, on the a little bit taller Reblitz there. Uh, got him pinned deep, got the ball down, uh, going to the free throw line for two. Reblitz puts up the first, missed everything. One Wildcat is waiting for Reblitz. He's coming in for the shooter. Coulter goes out, and Meister comes into the ballgame. Second free throw attempt is knocked down, and Reblitz will go to the bench after knocking down his first point of the ballgame. In comes to Sheeran. Bonnerson picks it up at the free throw line, brings it across the timeline with 52 seconds left to go. Whelan to, uh, to Wilchin. Wilchin, left side of the paint, puts up a shot and knocks it down. Yeah, nice match up there. Got it into the high post. That uh, number 23, uh, Tashirin came out to guard him. I think uh, Gabe has a little bit of advantage on him there. And Tashirin knocks down that basket. Basket for basket. Jays and Wildcats. Ryder out to Wilchin. Wilchin, left side of the paint, guarded by Clunder. No good. Rebound by Gernhardt. Clunder quickly ahead, 23 on the game clock, poked away by Ryder. Shot by Gernhardt, no good. Rebound by Joe DeStichter. That shot is good for Joe DeStichter. He now has six on the night. Coach Langle sitting over on the bench showing a little frustration with a lot of those players. Like I said, it's just a, 
one of those games we're just not real sharp. We're uh, allowing a lot of the simple things to uh, to happen. Uh, those offensive rebounds and stuff, keeping them in this game. Only 15. 52-37 is the margin after three. We'll be back after this timeout. You're watching Jays and Wildcats on Fuller. Belly Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. It's easier than ever to find the live stream for your team now on fullerdigital.net. Home and away, if we're covering your team, your team's videos are on fullerdigital.net. Just click on your school and you'll find the game. Thank you for watching our events and remember, the games are on fullerdigital.net. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling alongside Brian Colbeck on Florida Digital Solutions and FloridaDigital.net. This is first round action between Woodbury Central and Galen Catholic. Jays lead 52-37 as we get started in the fourth quarter. Clunder out to Destictor. Hands off to Meister. Meister near the top of the key. Kicks left to Clunder. Clunder fumbled the ball there for just a second. Cross court back to Destictor. Meister, three, knocks it down. Bank is open, came off that backboard. I don't know if that's how he drew it up, but still counts the same. Augustine drives toward the hoop, puts up a floater, no good off the back iron, rebound by Clunder. Clunder ahead quickly through the lane, and they're going to call a charge on Clunder. Yeah, Clunder tried to kind of do a baby Euro step around him. Caught too much of the of the defender, pass it down through the lane there, kind of an easy call. A lot of Jays in the lane, too. Wildcats showing full court press now. Ahead to Bonderson. Bonderson able to get out past the art stretched arms of Clunder. Layup by Wilchin is in. Wilchin now with four. Destictor between the legs dribble as he brings it up over the timeline. A lot of big steps there by Destictor. Clunder spinning. Cross court to Joe Destictor. Shot fake over to Gernhart. Gernhart decides to pull the trigger on a three. No good. Rebound. I think we're going to have a foul on Logan. Yeah, Keaton uh, was out of position there. Just kind of helped the uh, with the assist of a little shove there. Helped the Woodbury Wildcat continue on out of bounds. So uh, kind of an easy call there too. Credit to uh, Woodbury Central. Uh, down 18 going into half. Had, had this thing cut to 12 uh, with the basketball. So um, they're, they're, they're no quitting these guys tonight. At puts the Wildcats in the bonus 17 fouls and it's the fourth one for Logan as Tashirin goes to the line to shoot the one and one knocks down the first Kraft will come in for Logan and with a 14 point lead that might be the last we see of Logan in the ball game second free throw attempt by Brady Tashirin is up knocks it down Tashirin now with eight Bonderson will bring it up the floor for the Jays. 6.52 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Kraft over to Augustine. Augustine cutting Bonderson. Bonderson brings it back out. 17 left on the shot clock. Kicked right to DeRocher. Back to Bonderson. Bonderson decides to take a guarded three. No good. Rebound by Gernhardt. I don't know that he had to take that shot as that one, I thought it was going to go wildly out of bounds just from our angle. That one's stolen back away by the Wildcats. Meister over to Joe DeStichter. That shot is no good. Rebound by DeRocher. Nice box out there by Connor Kraft to make sure that number 23 didn't get a shot at that rebound. Kraft over to Augustine. Top of the key. Three off the front iron. No good. Rebound by Tachirin. Kind of got stuck in that pattern of shooting them threes now again, man. It's like a fatigue sets in a little bit and kind of forget what got us out to that 18 point lead. It's almost like a muscle memory type of thing. That's all they think they can do is Clunder's shot is no good. Kraft goes to the floor getting the rebound to Bonderson. That one's stolen away over to Meister and 
Drake DeRocher commits the foul. I don't think he needed to commit that foul. No, you know, it was a kind of a comedy of errors there. Keaton uh, uh, was drawing that defender in and, and was kind of hesitating a little bit, ended up losing it, and then a little bit of chaos ensued. So, you know, uh, 542 left, 12 point lead. They're at the line. They're in the, uh, they're in the bonus for the remainder of the game, Matt. I, like I said, I, nobody should get too comfortable yet. Game's not over, it's a 12 point margin. First one is knocked down. Score when the clock is stopped, as Meister does. 38-24, George Little Rock over MMCRU right now. Second free throw attempt off the iron, no good. Rebound by Wilchin. Wilchin ahead to Kraft. Kraft between the circles. Kicks it left to Bonderson. Bonderson over to Kraft. Back to Bonderson near the top of the key. Thought about a three, now pushes it right to Kraft. Kraft drives the baseline, puts up a shot, no good. Wilchin tries to clean up the garbage, no good. Plunder comes away, and the Jays got to stop doing that. That one almost stolen away, and it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Wildcat basketball as Carter Kellen tries to save it from going out of bounds. Yeah, we go back to that first half where you had the opportunity with all those little bunnies and mid-range jumpers to put this ball game away. That's a, this time of year, that's the one thing you hate to give the other team is hope. Ball looking to be inbounded. Bounce pass to Clunder. Wide open. Three. Will the Stichter. No good. Rebound. Bonderson. Jays have got to stop coming away with no points as Bonderson initiates the foul on Meister. That's close. I'm not sure that he... The offensive person has the right to that plane, but the minute like Keaton there introduces his presence into the defender like that, I would agree, Matt. you got to be real careful with that. That one could have literally went either way. Woodbury Central coach is, is clearly stating his case to the official. Uh, see what happens as we move forward. Bonnerson, bounce pass inbound to the Rocher between the circles. Just under five left to go. Bonnerson with it now. Kraft, bounce pass to Wilchin. That's what I thought. It was off of Wilchin's hands. Will be Wildcat basketball. Yep, a little hot potato down in there. Not, not a bad look, not a bad pass. Just a little much, too much velocity on it. It sounds like, looks like Mike Langle wants to sit down and talk about this thing a little bit. Is it Mike that called it? 30-second timeout. We'll stay here. That way we uh, don't risk the uh, risk uh, commercial setting our audio off. They actually off. ended up being the Woodbury Central coach wanting to sit down and talk about it a little bit. He's maybe sensing that they have a point in the game here where they can uh, close this gap down a little bit. Jays really need to buckle down and get back to fundamentals, get back to that first half offense where they were just picking them apart with those weak spots in the middle, get a couple easy buckets and stretch this lead back out again. The Wildcats have done a nice job of cutting this lead down to an 11 point lead for the Jays down from a high of 18 points at one point in this ball game. Wildcats will have the ball with the full length of the court to go. 4.53 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Again, the Wildcats are in the bonus. Jays with 18 fouls in the second half. Inbound to, to Sheeran. Meister picks it up now, guarded by DeRocher, spinning across half court. Kicks it over to Joe to Stichter. Joe backs up, got double teamed, grabbed that, and it's going to be a jump ball. It will be Jays basketball. Nice job by Kraft. I like that move. Uh, sometimes when your team gets a little flat, a lot of coaches like to back off and get a little more conservative. I like that move. Put a little pressure on them. See if that youth and inexperience comes out a little bit here towards the end of the ball game. Logan lost the handle on the ball before he went back and retrieved it. 4.30 left to go in the ball game. Keaton near that right side. Bounce pass Wilchin. Wilchin stuck in the paint. I think the Wildcat fans thought he walked with it. That shot is errant from Kraft. 15 left on the shot clock. It's going to be off a lot over Central and remain Jays basketball. Yeah, not, a, not a bad look there. Uh, Kraft got it down deep like we were thinking. Elevated. A lot of clean contesting of the shot down there. Just can't get those little bunnies to fall right now. 14 seconds left on the shot clock as the Jays look to get the ball inbounded. Inbounded to DeRocher. Hand off. Now Logan near corner. Bonderson. Shot fake. Drives into the paint. Puts up a shot and is fouled. I believe it's going to be on Meister the way he, by the way he reacted. Yeah, Keaton uh, dribbling down in that lane. Elevated. Brought that thing back to his left hand. Was going to be a Heck of a shot if you could get it to fall, but ended up drawing the foul. 
Meister's fourth, team, team's fourth as Bonderson goes to the line to shoot two. 42-27 is the margin in the George Little Rock game as Bonnerson knocks down the first. He now has 27. Wildcats have not gone away in this ball game. Shown a lot of fight as Bonnerson knocks down the second. Clunder looking to get the ball inbounded. Does to Gernhart. Back to Clunder. Clunder guarded by Wilchin. Gets it up over the timeline. Passes to Meister. Meister to Clunder. Clunder back out to Meister. Top of the key. Long two. No good. Rebound Wilchin. Bonderson comes up with it. Splits the defenders. Kicks it left to Logan. Logan in the corner. Now back out to Logan. Back to DeRocher. Logan between the circles. Kicks right to Kraft. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. 3.36 left on the game clock. Bounce pass. Bonderson puts up a jumper. No good. Tries to push it back. Does Wilchin instead of trying to bring it down with two hands. Clunder brings it ahead for the Wildcats. Pulls up. Three. Knocks it down. Clunder now with 19 on the night. Logan bounce pass. Wilchin lays it in. Threes for twos are never good, but the Jays are at least putting points back up on the board. It's a 12-point ball game. Meister, pass it to Gernhart, over to Joe DeStichter, to Clunder. That pass intercepted, and it's going to be off of Gernhart. Good defense by Keaton Logan there. Trying to get uh, the Wildcat was trying to pin him down low. It looks like Gernhart was, uh, had him pinned fairly well. The athleticism of Logan just got around that thing, tipped it, uh, got the turnover. DeRocher inbound to Logan. Lo- Man, I... He didn't have his feet set, but Logan initiated the contact again. There we go. It's, it's just one of those that, you know, unfortunately, as a defender, you're just not going to get that generally. I, I Again, uh, you know, wouldn't be surprised if here as this game goes on, we don't get called for an offensive because that's an awful lot of shoulder we're lowering. But in the same token... Definitely don't want to be passive and laid back here and, and, and keep them the, keep them in this ball game. That's a 15 foul, and he is now done for the ball game. In for Meister t- comes to Sheeran as Logan passes left to Bonnerson in the near corner, out to Logan, over to DeRocher, back to Logan and back to Bonnerson. Bonnerson drives left baseline, gets a cutting direct DeRocher, puts up the shot and is fouled. Getting back to the basics there, Matt. Dribble drive. Drawing the defenders to you, getting those easy, easier looks. Uh, this is where we got to stay for the remainder of this game and, and try and survive in advance here. Third foul by Gernhart. DeRocher gets ready to put up the shot, knocks it down. Is Drake with the first? He now has nine on the night. It's a final from St. Mary's. They defeated Siouxland Christian. The second shot is no good. Rebound by Kraft. Kraft gets the rebound to Logan. It's a 13-point ball game. Two and a half left to play. Kraft bounce pass to Rocher and is followed by Clunder. Another good look. Another deep into the soft spot of that 2-3 zone. Draw those defenders to you. Oh, looks like we got a little extra going on here. Sorry, I was... Uh, Leaning over, looking at something else. Uh, did he pick up a technical also? I don't believe so. He's just talking to the official. Maybe a little extra uh, chatter after the play was done. The official's still at the scorer's table. It's a two-shot foul as DeRocher knocks down the first. He now has 10. The scorer's table is still talking to the official. They're trying to get the correct jersey number. They have Clunder with four four fouls now as Logan hits the second. Logan, I'm sorry, not Logan, it was DeRocher. And we have a timeout. Again, we will stay here. We will verbally say thank you to all of our sponsors. And, of course, Brian, you're one of the 
You're one of the sponsors. You and your brother graciously picked up sponsorship this year with Fuller Digital Solutions this year. Appreciate that. Fuller Digital Solutions uh, thanks Floyd Valley Healthcare, ESPN Radio, 101.5 FM, and Five Star Communications, Prime Bank, Sitzman Construction, Colbeck Incorporated, Thermal Bond, Evertech, and this year, new this year is uh, Schuster Trucking. Of course, all these sponsors are local. They are in your community, and they are helping to bring you Jays basketball all season long as well as this postseason. Yeah, you know, and just going back here while you were going through all those gracious sponsor, sponsors that bring these games to all the uh, both, uh, uh, you know, Moville community and the, and the Lamar's community night. You know, as kids and tournament time rolls around, the anticipation and excitement, you know, uh, most people going into these games, you know, would look at the last time these two met, and and, and Galen kind of had a had a extraordinary night that night, uh, beating Woodbury Central down down there, 83 to 19. So uh, again, hats off to the uh, Woodbury Central faithful um, coming out and, and and giving us everything we want tonight. Uh, now, uh, in Galen's defense, they maybe haven't been the sharpest that they've been all season tonight, but there too, uh, Woodbury Central came in just going to leave it all here tonight, the way it looks, Matt. Joe to Stichter, over to Sheeran. Will fumbled with it, tries to kick it out to Joe, and we're going to have an over and back. Nope, Bonderson picks it up, puts it up, lays it in. Because Bonderson now with 30. Joe brings it up over the timeline. Closely guarded by Bonderson. Gernhart was close to that timeline. Dribbles, backs down Augustine. Puts up a right hand, and Augustine commits the foul. Yeah, it's one of those plays there, unfortunately. We just can't allow that. you got to body up a little sooner. Don't let allow that offensive player to kind of back you down that low into the block. Um, you know, those are all little things, Matt, again, that I'm sure the coach is going to go back and watch film as we move forward to the way it looks now with a minute 48 left. Moving forward to play, it looks like George Little Rock. Um, going to have to fix a lot of things because I, I don't know that you're going to be able to get away with this level of play much further down the tournament road, I'm afraid. George Little Rock with a 50 to 34 lead, 23 seconds left to go in that ball game as the second free throw attempt is no good. Rebound by Augustine ahead quickly to Drake DeRocher. Drake hits the brakes, turns the corner, and kicks it out to Logan. Back to DeRocher, to Logan near between the circles. Dribbles right toward the logo. Back left to Kraft. Out to DeRocher. Now Logan, 16 left on the shot clock. Logan at the logo. Bonnerson between the circles. Eight left on the shot clock. Dribbles left side of the paint. Jump stop. Puts up the layup and in. 32 points. That'll increase his points per game average tonight. As Joe DeStichter backs up. Now drives. Backs up. Drives in the lane. Puts up a shot and knocks it down. Does Will De Joe DeStichter. He now has eight. Just under a minute left to play. Bonnerson Brings it up over the timeline, kicks it left to DeRocher. DeRocher tries to get it to Augustine. Bonnerson picks it up and lays it in, now with 34. Ahead, Joe to Stichter, and oh, he twisted an ankle, something fierce, down on this end of the floor, and play is stopped immediately. He pops up, but hobbles and goes back down to the floor. Yeah, playing at, that, at this level with that much speed. He came up and, and cried, tried to stop short. It's just one of those athletic plays. Unfortunately, looks like he's going to be okay. Carson Coulter will come into the ball game for him. Tough deal. Joe, just a freshman. As Logan brings it up over the timeline, it's about a six-second shot clock to game clock differential. Logan between the circles. Left to Kraft, bounce pass to DeRocher, brings it back to the corner. Logan out near the logo. Logan at the free throw line. Kraft with 13 on the shot clock. Bonderson with 10. Backs up, gets a screen from Augustine. Stops, jumper, free throw line, no good. Rebound by Tashirin. Ahead quickly to Plunder. Plunder stops, jumper, no good. Rebound Augustine with two and one. And the Jays will walk away with this ball game with an 18 point win, 67 to 49. The Jays will 
advance to the next round. They will play on Thursday night. That game will be here on 4 Digital Solutions, and it will be against George Little Rock. Not the, it's the same school, but a different team than, uh, than what we saw the other night, and we did see that they travel well. They bring a large fan base with them, a large student fan base with them, and it is, um, they, are, they are loud, and they, they are raucous, and, and, and sometimes that can be the, the difference in, uh, in momentum in a ball game. Well, 100%, Matt, and then there too, um, not that uh, I know uh, firsthand, but there has to be a lot of excitement in that community uh, to be able to, to leave the, the brutal confines of the Siouxland Conference and enter into a conference where you're paying, uh, playing more schools your size, your caliber. Now, um, again, uh, the War Eagle Conference, in, in especially in boys basketball, has been nothing but a juggernaut here producing a state champion, you know, six, eight years ago and a, a continual uh, state uh, participant in Rems and St. Mary's every year. And, of course, Galen wants to throw their name in the hat this year too. But, uh, but yeah, there's got to be a ton of excitement. That way they travel well. Um, as far as the Jays go, you know, it's kind of like your golf score, Matt. They don't ever ask you, you know, how. They ask you how many. And, and here we are tonight with the, with the W moving on. Um, sometimes maybe a game like this isn't the worst thing ever. Kind of refocuses it again. Like I said, we went down there and beat them 83 to 19 last time we were down there, and and hopefully a little wake up call for the boys. You know, you just can't show up and expect the other team to say, hey, you know, uh, you know the the stats and the and the rankings and everybody says you're better, and and, and so we're just going to kind of lay down. Uh, uh, you know, nothing to lose. Every team we face right now, nothing to lose. Got a target on your back, and you got to play and, and carry yourself accordingly. Scoring for individual stats look like this. Joe DeStichter with eight. Drew Clunder had 19 big points for the Wildcats and a big reason why the Wildcats stuck around as well as Jack Meister. His, his nine points and his defense was uh, was uh, very nice tonight. Brady DeSheeran had eight. Uh, Jackson Reblitz had one and Keaton Gernhart had four points for the Wildcats. For the Jays, Keaton Bonderson had 34 points. Keaton Logan with 8. Drake DeRocher with 11. Gabe Wilchin with 6. Carter Kellen had that single free throw. Connor Kraft with 5. And Ryan Augustine with 5 points. Scoring by quarter, Jays led 18-10 to 10 after 1. It was 33-15 with a 15-5 to 5 scoring margin in the second. 52-37 after 3. The Wildcats won that one that quarter, 22 to 19, and the Jays win 67-49, outscoring Woodbury Central 15 to 12 in the final quarter. I think that'll about do it for us here on the broadcast. Like we said, Rems and St. Mary's plays tomorrow night versus George Little Rock in girls' action. That'll be on Rems and St. Mary's channel. Tip time will be approximately seven o'clock. Make sure you check out the Remsen St. Mary page. You can also find it at fullerdigital.net. Check out this uh, the Jays as they take on George Little Rock, the boys' team. That game will be Thursday night. There will be a 7 o'clock tip time on this YouTube channel. You can also find it at fullerdigital.net. And the link, I believe, will also be on Varsity Bound as well as the Jays Athletics page. Any final thoughts, Brian? Uh, nope, just looking forward to seeing these boys uh, uh, learn from a little bit tonight. You know that you're never too uh, too established and, and, and mature to learn. Uh, learn from what uh, what happened tonight, what occurred tonight. Go back and watch some film. Uh, hit some practices for the next two nights because, uh, like I mentioned before, this is not the time of the year that you want to have an off night because uh, it'll end up coming to bite you in the butt. Well, on behalf of our entire Fuller Digital Solutions team, on, the t on behalf of Brian Kolbeck, my name is Matt Schilling saying so long from the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. The Jays winners 67-49. to You've been watching Fuller Digital Solutions.